Hey all, Fitzman here and welcome to Delirium, a 2D shooter pony horror game that's available on Steam. So uh, let's get to it. Now I have recorded, I have played this for um, a little while today and I have tried to record it but I've had issues with the recording, let's just put it like that. So I actually completed the first mission and I completed the... I don't know how far I got into the second mission, but at least a little ways into the second mission before I stopped. Now the reason why I'm redoing the first episode is that the game was extremely laggy for some reason. I couldn't quite figure out why, but it was just the way it was. So um, let's try again and see if we can't have a slightly less laggy round of it. This is an experimental game. Many features in the game can be confusing when you are playing. Help menu will be your best friend in this game. You can learn important game mechanics at any time by pressing the F1 button. All right. Beautiful. Yeah. It's getting cold. I should have put on a scarfy. Don't be harsh on yourself. Scarfy. I hope the celebration will be great today. Wouldn't mind eating a couple of tangerines. Oh, and we have two ponies approaching. Happy New Year's Eve, guys. Thanks, you too. Was your trip safe? We're fine, just cold. You should have put a scarf on. <laughs> yes. There is something weird with that Christmas tree star. Don't know if you saw that. Who lives here? Just some Pegasus. A rich one, it seems. Are you going to clean out the house again? You bet. After the celebration. Thieves. That's a pony with a blindfold. Welcome, my dear friends. Happy New Year's Eve, everyone. My name is Abel. I am I'm a curator of this amazing mansion. I'm glad that you've come. Don't be shy, come in. I was just about to set the table. Why is there so much space in this mansion, or this house? I'm, I'm afraid the question is not for me. I'm not the one who had built this house, my boy. Make yourself comfortable, friends. I prepared the presents for you in the guest room. Make yourselves at home. And I'll go get the table. I'll go set the table? Ah, there we go. And... That pony is wandering off. Move along. We need to discuss a couple of things. Yeah, like, how are you going to steal the entire house, probably? So, he's called Dismas. And this one is called Gestas. Turn on the sink. Use the toilet, and... Every time you can use a toilet in a game, you probably should, just because. Actually, I don't know. It's just a thing we do. And her name is Claudia. And I can talk to her. It's cozy in here. It really is. I want such puffies in my house too. 
Guys are planning their thing again. They live by stealing. What can we do? That's wrong. Don't work yourself up over it. The curator will finish setting the table soon. Then we'll try some tangerines. Oh. Nothing in there. There's some presents here. That style also looks wrong on the Christmas tree. And they are still doing whatever they're doing. I need a red key for that. Closed with a red lock. Hmm. Looks like I'm going to need a red key. Right, I already knew that. Right, the curator. What can I do for you? How can you see through these bandages? My dear, that's that's kind of creepy. Your name's Ada, right? It took me many years of practicing. Someday I'll teach you. Don't forget your present. There, in the guest room. But we've just been in the guest room. Okay, fine. There's a blue door there. And Dismas and Gestas is not here. They moved up here, I guess, yeah. What are you up to now? We're going to rob a curator. When everyone is off to bed. We will carry all of the gold out of this mansion. And all of the furniture. How how would you do that? That's very, very heavy. And how are you going to carry all of that out? <laughs> At any cost. You are idiots. <laughs> okay, fair enough. We have a present. Hmm. Claudia's coming over. Well, what's your present? It's a scarf. Oh, that's nice. Now you won't get cold. There's something else. That looks um, suspicious. What is this? Wow. I hope no one will rise from hell because of this. And as I said last time I read that, that is oddly specific. Really sp spooky gift from the curator. Yeah. Everything is ready. Allow me to invite all of you to the table. My dear friends, it was a terrific year. I am sure that during this year, each one of us went through something unforgettable. Let us say goodbye to this year and wish the next one to be just as amazing. And the cellar to never end. And the robberies to get more successful. And he pretty much just admitted to being a thief in front of everyone at the table, including the guy they are going to rob. Yeah. So, we don't have the most brilliant of thieves. And winter not to be so cold. Well, you do have a scarf now. Just need to put a scarf on to not get cold. And everyone to be happy. Ah, oh, that is kind of cute, actually. And it's New Year's Eve. Happy New Year. Hey, light the candles again. Press the use button. Yeah, yeah, pretty much the sound that's uh, he's um or she's making down there. Ugh. Run. I mean 
I've seen this before, but it's still so grotesque. Ugh. That is, um, that is actually quite terrible. Ugh. Right, oh, there's a, there's a thing. Ah. Ugh. Everything's so nasty now. Right? And this part here is where we um, stopped the last time. So it is also where we will stop the episode this time by that pentagram. So yeah, I just wanted to redo the first episode and that episode ends around here. Now bear in mind when you get to the next episode that I had initially thought about just using the laggy footage of the first recording. <laughs> Keep being chased by these. Um, oh no! Quit it! Uh, so yeah, I may say that I'm going to just leave the old recording as is, but obviously that's not the case, because this is fine the way the game runs now, but before it was just not fine. So episode 2 will be as it is, because I redid that one, and that is now fine. And now that we have redone episode 1, hopefully everything will be less terrible uh, in regards to having trouble with recording once we start episode 3. Anyways, this has been the first episode, the introduction of the game, and I'll see you in episode 2. Fitzbernard.